Okay, guys, so let's just get right into the week three predictions. I don't have to say anything. First off, we've got the Giants versus the 49ers. So this game, I think 49ers win easy 28 to 20. And no, no, wait, no, 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 34 to 10. Because to be honest with you, San Francisco is so much better than the Giants. The Giants are just terrible this season. Like, they're awful. That's all I have to say about them. And 49ers are a way better team by far. So, yeah. 49ers win this game easily. The next game next game is the Falcons versus the Lions. So, the Falcons and Lions, these two teams are looking like possible i possible possibly they look like underdogs so it's dark horse picks in the nfc so to be honest with you i'm gonna put lions on the winning pedestal they're gonna win this game in a very close 24 to 26 matchup i think falcons will keep it very close throughout the game but unfortunately in the end it is the lions coming out on top and they will have the same record going into week four the next game is Excuse me. Next game is Chargers versus the Minnesota Vikings. So the Chargers, so the Minnesota Vikings are actually looking pretty good this season. Like they have really put their what? Well, what? No, I got I gotta stop saying stupid shit like this. Never mind. Minnesota's been looking pretty bad this year. Well, they've been looking. Well, it's very hard. To, okay, <laughs> look, I would describe Minnesota as an enigma. On one hand, they've been doing great on offense. But on another, on the other hand, though, they have been doing really bad because they've just been continuously fumbling the ball. They can't not stop fumbling the ball. Meanwhile, Chargers cannot stop blowing it and not can't stop blowing it. So honestly, though, I'm going to pick home field advantage. Minnesota wins 20, ah, no, no, 34 to 32. I think it's going to be a shootout. But in the end, I think Minnesota is going to win. Not because I think Minnesota is a clutch team, but I think the Chargers are just less clutch than Minnesota is. Meanwhile, we're going to uh, Green Bay for the Green Bay Packers versus the New Orleans Saints. So, okay, look. The Green Bay Packers are a solid team. Saints are a solid team. I think this game is going to be very close. I think this game is going to be a 16 to 15 win for the New Orleans Saints. I oh, know 19 to 15 win for the New Orleans Saints. I think New Orleans is going to do a good job, pretty good job in this game. I think Derek Carr will do enough. I think their defense will do enough. I think they'll do enough to beat Jordan Love. I think it's going to be an upset. Saints win 19 to 15 despite being in Green Bay land. Meanwhile, we've got the next game, and this game is the Texans versus Jaguars. So, very simply, the Texans are just not it. And the Jacksonville Jaguars, not even though not being the best team, are leagues better than the Texans. So, they'll win this game. 28-17, to 17, maybe a little bit closer than some people expect, but I think Jacksonville will still pull out the win. They're at home. They're at home versus the Texans who are nowhere, nowhere near being good. So, yeah. The next game we're going to is, let's see. Oh, we're going to this game. So, one of the worst, this is a game. This is going to be actually quite an interesting game, in my opinion, despite what the records might say. Miami and Denver Broncos. Very simply, I think Miami is a way better team, but I think Denver will keep it close. I don't know. I just think Denver will keep it close, and the final score will be something like 38-36. to I think Denver is once again going to lose by under a field goal because that seems to be Denver Broncos this season. They have lost by under a field goal in both of their games. In total, they've lost their, they've lost both of their first two games by a combined field goal, three points. So, you know. I mean, on one hand, it's, it's great. It's... A good thing, technically, but on the other hand, it's a really bad thing. So, you know, sort of a neutral trait to have with your team. Well, not really. Well, kind of. 
Now, the next game is a game I'm actually going to. This is the Titans versus Cleveland Browns. I'm actually going to this game. So, if I had to guess who's going to win this game, it's probably going to be Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns win this game 24-17. to I think it's going to be quite close. But in the end, I think Cleveland wins this game. I just don't have much faith in the Titans to actually win. So, yeah. I think Cleveland goes to 2-1. I actually think Cleveland's pretty solid this year, despite losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are really bad. The next game, you've got the Buffalo Bills versus the Washington Commanders. Honestly, with you, i got to be honest, Washington is not going to upset the Bills, despite being at home. I think Bills win this game 29-24. Uh, to 24. Yeah, a little bit closer than you would actually expect but I think the Washington Commanders will keep it relatively close throughout the game. But I think in the end, honestly, I think Washington will just lose this game. I, I think they have been outperforming the expectations, but in the end, I just don't think they're the team that the, the record says they are. They played two really bad teams. And Buffalo, well, they played two relatively decent teams. Uh, but, well, the Jets were decent, too, versus them. So, yeah. The next, we got two more 1 p.m. games. The next 1 p.m. game is Colts versus Indianapolis. I think this is going to be a slug fest. Lamar has not been looking great. Now, I, w- I won't say he's been looking bad, but he definitely has been looking a little bit suspect. So, yeah. But besides, but despite that, I think Baltimore wins this game in an easy matchup. A pretty ugly matchup, like 26 to 10. That sounds like a Baltimore score to me keeping their team from scoring many points, but they don't score so many points themselves. But I think the defense will carry them to a victory. I think Lamar might rush one in. Maybe he'll throw a touchdown. But honestly, I think Baltimore will ride on their defense once again to win here. 20, what was it? 22 to, uh, I think it was 22 to 10. Yeah, 22 to 10, so. So, yeah. Anyways, the next game is the Jets versus Patriots. This one, honestly, I think the Patriots are going to have the upset. I think they win this game 20 to 16. I don't know. I just I don't think the Jets are that good, especially after losing Aaron Rodgers. I think they're in a really bad situation. They have Zach Wilson until they don't, until they find a new quarterback other than Zach Wilson. I don't think they're making it anywhere. Zach Wilson has just shown that he cannot play multiple times, and he cannot carry a team. He can't lead a team. That's the main thing. So Patriots win this game 20-16. to Patriots win their first game of the season. So I think it's going to be quite an upset for the Patriots. And also I think they keep their streak alive with beating the Jets. Meanwhile, this game is a pretty easy one. Seahawks versus Carolina Panthers. Seahawks win this one pretty easily, 28-17. to I am really not fond of the Panthers this season. They do not have a good team, especially Bryce Young. Bryce Young is the main reason they're bad. I mean, Bryce Young has just not been looking like, has not been looking good. And I mean, I mean, yeah, Frank, so far their team just looks off. And I think it's just mainly because Bryce Young hasn't really done anything. He has just not been looking good. And meanwhile, while well, the Seahawks have not been looking like the greatest team, they did win They did win last week's game versus the Lions, and they did clutch up. So honestly, I think they win this game 28-17 to over the Panthers and start off their season 2-1. Meanwhile, the Chiefs versus the Chicago Bears. So I think the Chiefs win this game in a kind of ugly 25-12 to matchup. Because let's be honest, the Chicago Bears are not good. But I don't think the Chiefs are as good as they were last year. If this was the last year of Chiefs, I would say they probably win this game like 40-10 to or something like that. But 
this is this year's Chiefs, and I think this year's edition of the Chiefs are not as good. I think they're going to kind of have a little bit of a Super Bowl hangover, not as bad as the Rams last year, but I, but I really don't see them making it back to the Super Bowl. They have just looked suspect the entire season. Even when they won versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, they only scored 17 points versus a defense where, I mean, the Colts scored, what, 21 on them? And the Colts, I, and honestly, I don't know. I don't think the Colts, maybe the Colts do have a great offense, but I don't know. The Colts, the Colts have actually not looked that bad so far, I'll be honest, 100%. So, yeah. Yeah, they, the Chiefs are definitely a little suspect. Meanwhile, this game is the easiest one of the week. I'm not even going to spend time explaining because it's not worth it. The Dallas Cowboys are going to win this game 40-6. to Because, honestly, Dallas... It's just so much better than the Cardinals. I mean, that's not saying much, but Dallas is actually a pretty good team this year. Sorry to say it. They actually, the last two weeks, I think they've earned the title. At least, at least the last two weeks, they have been America's team. I'll be honest. For once, I guess, for once, they actually deserve the label. For once in the last 25 years, I think they've actually earned the label America's team. Because the last two weeks, they have won 71 to. 10 and they have a 61 point plus differential which is uh, incredible for the first two games so yeah i think dallas wins the game 40 to 6 and cardinals lose and start off their season zero and three meanwhile let's go on to prime time games first we got the raiders versus steelers so this game is going to be a very close slugfest but in the end i think Las Vegas wins 14 to 12. And they will start up the season 2 and 1. I really do not see the Steelers winning this game despite the Raiders being really bad. I think despite the Raiders being a pretty bad team, I think the Steelers are just worse. So, yeah. So, and now the next, we got the final two games, and this is the Eagles versus Bucks. Now, this is a Monday night game at 7-15. Honestly, I don't think this is going to be a very good game. I think Eagles beat the Bucks in a kind of close, but yet not close, 31-20. to I think the Bucks are a solid team that will be able to score a couple touchdowns, but I think in the end, the Eagles are just going to come out on top. Because, well, the Eagles are just the way, 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 way better team than the Bucks. So, yeah. And then the next game, the final game of week number three, is a Super Bowl rematch from a couple of years ago. Rams versus Bengals at Bengals. So, to be honest, I think, I think the Bucks are... No, I think the Bengals are going to lose this game, even though they're at home. I don't know. Look, I don't think L.A. is the best team ever. But honestly, the Bengals have been looking a little bit. They have been looking very, very suspect so far. They have not been good. Their offense has looked, at best, decent. Their defense has not been looking to me that great either. And their tie team just kind of looks off. And L.A. has actually been looking pretty solid this year so far. They kept it close with the 49ers, who are a really good team. They beat the hell out of the Seahawks, who are also, I think, a pretty solid team. And, yeah, I think they're going to beat the hell out of the Bengals, too. 28-14. to 14. I think they end this game off with putting the Bengals down 0-3. But I'm definitely not ruling out the fact that the Bengals could win this game because, let's be honest, the Bengals might pull a win out of their ass. That's something that the Bengals do. They kind of trick you into thinking they're bad, and then all of a sudden they come out and win a bunch of games. So definitely not doubting that they could win this game. Anyways, that's about it for this Week 3 production. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe and like, hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys next time. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit